We here at the University of Illinois are finding ways to improve lithium ion batteries by making them safer, longer lasting, and better performing. And we do this by making them smarter. So if they should overheat, they'll shut themselves down. Or if they should be damaged, they'll heal themselves, all without human intervention. We call this Autonomous Materials Systems. To see how we incorporate our concept of autonomic shutdown into lithium ion batteries, we start with standard battery components and add temperature sensitive microcapsules. In a fully charged battery, all of the lithium ions are in the anode. As the battery discharges, the ions move through the electrolyte and through the separator and into the cathode. When the battery is recharged, the ions move into the anode. In our batteries, the anode is coated with thermally sensitive microcapsules. When the battery is cycling normally, the capsules are dormant and do not affect the capacity of the battery. But if the battery overheats, the microcapsules trigger, forming an insulating barrier which prevents the ions from moving into the anode. This effectively shuts down the battery without any outside intervention and ensures that the battery will not continue to overheat and potentially explode. We're also developing ways to increase the lifespan of batteries. Over time, the electrodes inside lithium ion batteries begin to degrade and lose conductivity. We're developing ways to autonomically restore lost conductivity inside these electrodes. I'm going to show you an example of a self-healing electrical circuit. On top of each circuit is a healing layer that includes microcapsules that we can isolate in the solid state. These microcapsules contain a healing liquid, and when we damage the circuit by scratching it or cracking it, the circuit is able to heal itself. So now I'm cutting the sample, and as you can see, the light bulb has gone off, and now we wait for it to come back on. And voila, the sample has restored its, its conductivity, and now the light bulb is turned on, and I think that took all of about 20 seconds. We have also developed a system that can restore conductivity so quickly that it makes a hummingbird look slow. While we have only featured a select few of our projects here, our entire team is hard at work developing new materials and processes that will help usher in a more stable and sustainable energy future.